Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football 4 box. Pick your team number 13 from a fresh case. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18, I believe, will all be from the same case, if you're keeping track of that. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. There's the final printout. Appreciate it. X line with Last Pod Mojo, Carolina Panthers. And a chance at that break credit, too. So here's the fresh case right here. Let me pop this open on my cart. Sort of kind of an awkward break here. There's a group of four. Here's another group of four. There's another group of four. Another group of four. Right, so we've got groups of four right here. We're going to roll the die. And we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So the groups of four. And it's gonna be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the group we're gonna do. We'll set that over here. The remaining boxes we're gonna put away for now. The next next break, I'll just grab four random boxes and we'll just do it that way. But since this is a fresh case, we'll kind of do it this way. All right, now TC was asking, what do you think about the NFL having international games in uh, Germany, London, Mexico City? I think it's great. If I was a fan in any of those cities, I'd be so thrilled to see an NFL game there. I think they, they, they may have to tweak a little, uh, maybe they have to tweak a little something schedule-wise. I think sometimes players kind of kind of complain about like, and I agree, it's maybe some, sometimes the scheduling isn't right and there's a lot of traveling that happens, but if they can kind of dial that in and be able to give them maybe like a bye, they usually get bye weeks after, right? So as long as the scheduling is pretty solid, I don't. Th I don't think it's too bad. It's sort of. In it's. It's interesting. And like the yeah, the, I, I like the diversity. The fans are so different in the stands, and you just you definitely feel a different energy. I think maybe over time, as as more and more players and teams get used to it, um, I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see, I guess, more competitive teams. No, I, I guess it would be tough for season. You lose a game for season ticket holders. They don't charge you for that game, though, do they? Wouldn't the season tickets be one game cheaper? Or you probably don't do that, right? 
I don't think NFL owners are that generous. All right, so remember, vet commons don't ship, but rookie cards, inserts will ship. Hits, obviously. All right, stop sending the Raiders out there. And here is James Cook, jersey and autograph, cooking. We want we want competitive competitive teams. Probably want to stay home, so stop saying sending the Raiders out there. That's the only problem. Those teams want to go to. Uh, they don't want to travel all internationally, all over the place. All right, there's Cooper Cup to 75. TC is a UGA grad. Love James Cook. Wait, where is he now? He's with the Bills. Buffalo! Where did my pen go? That'll be for Rick Thomas and the Bills. What 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 do you how do you feel what do you feel about uh, TC about Zamir White? Do we like Zamir White? It's Drew Pearson to one ninety nine for the Cowboys, and we got a dare to tear Joe Burrow for the Bengals. Tanner with the Bengals. We get Isaiah Likely to 149 for the Ravens. We get Chris Olave to 299 for the Saints. And there's uh, Aaron Jones, mini to 125 points. We'll randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all the points if there's more, hopefully not. Yeah. Nickname Zeus, I think is a strong nickname. I like it. Yeah, he solid, torn his ACL twice. But he's battled back from that. There's Keyshawn to 100. Yeah, in what little I've seen of him as a Raiders fan, from what little I've seen of him, he... Uh, he looks pretty great. So, little Josh Jacobs, little uh, little Zamir White, among others, on that Raiders backfield. I'm pretty excited about that. Right, Amir Abdullah, did you see he scored a touchdown and then had like this this roundhouse kick that he did as a celebration it was pretty cool, so he's looking spry. Kenyon Drake's still on that team. I think he's still got a lot to offer as well after sort of uh, injury plague season last year. So that's a that's a good running back room. Good good running back room, I think. I'm not too worried about the uh, Raiders' offense. Maybe a little concerned about the offensive line, but I suppose you can kind of work around that by running sort of more quicker plays. Find some willing blockers amongst tight ends and running backs. And defense is the, is the big issue. So hopefully, if they're league average, be a dangerous team. There's uh, Derek Stingley Jr. to 299. 
for the Texans. It's Desmond Ritter. And we've got we got Romeo Dobbs for the Packers. I heard some Pack Packers fans were saying that they uh they like what they're seeing out of this kid here, Sean Healy with the Packers. There's uh, Barry Sanders for the Lions. There's Aaron Donald to 125 for the Rams. That'll be for Tanner. X-Line's asking, who do we think of the Dodgers' biggest threat in the NL? Yeah, I think I agree with TC. It's got to be the Mets. That pitching rotation is, is pretty scary. You know, I mean, they can roll out. They got a big one-two punch. Max Scherzer, Jacob DeGrom. There's Damian Price to 25. Among others, Edwin Diaz as their electric closer. You know. So, I mean, they're, they're pretty, pretty well balanced. Here's Marcus Allen out of 100. Like the Cardinals? I don't, I'm not too worried about the Cardinals in the NL. Malik Willis looked pretty good. Barry Sanders to 150. Right, unless yeah, unless it's like a unless it's like a magic se magical season. So there's Tyler Beatty, Yadi Ueno, and Albert. I mean, if if that was, if if that was uh, if that was maybe ten years ago, I would definitely be worried. I think they're they're ready for their pensions pretty soon. Patrick Davis with the Ravens. We'll get that one. There's uh, Garrett Wilson as well for the Jets. Box three of four. <laughs> I mean, they're they're ready. They're they're about to get their uh, their AARP cards, right? Well, you're uh, the X line. You're, they're about your age, but you're not a professional athlete. They're old for professional athletes. As regular Joes, still young, still young and spry and live. As professional athletes, though, they may as well be getting their AARP cards. When's the next live break? Monday? No. We break seven nights a week. So tomorrow. Unless there's like a scheduling thing or someone's out sick, but shorter, but all things being normal, we break seven nights a week. <laughs> Wasn't a knock on you, Exxon. There's Charles Woodson to 125. And we got Vellis Jones Jr. for the Bears. Chris with Chicago. That's a uh, number that's out of 50.
We got Mike Singletary to uh, 299. I want winners. I want players that want to win. TC's a Bears fan. Did not like that Vellis Jones Jr. pick. There's Chris Olave to 20. Nice. That will be for the Saints. That's going to go to the X line. I am a Dirty Raiders fan. X line, that's for sure. No, it's all good, man. Hey, you're 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 a busy guy. You got you got things in life that you got to take care of. You can't always hang out and play. But I appreciate when you can. We'll always be here. We're not going anywhere. TJ Hawkinson to 100. How uh, TC? How are we? How are we feeling about uh, the Bears this year? Are we going to see the next level, the next step for Justin Fields? I know a lot of people who have uh, some vested interest in Mr. Fields. It would be hashtag good for the hobby if he, uh, if he does well this year. Maybe fresh perspective from the new coaching staff might help. There's out of 199, Sam Howell for Washington, Patrick. We've got a little mini David Montgomery. Not, no, not good. We have the worst wide receiver room in the league. But you do have vested interest in success as well. There's Jerome Ford. Cleveland, this is for you. Steven Chambers with the Browns. Yeah, that, that news is a bit of a surprise. They're not taking care of Roquan Smith after losing uh, or after trading Khalil Mack to my division rival, the Chargers. I, I would have I would have sworn that they would take care of Roquan Smith in that case, but I mean, why are they? Why are they kind of cheaping out at, at, at that point? Why get cheap there? All right, fourth and final box. El Canone was finally able to unload his Drew Locke cards. A bunch of Seahawks fans are making the same mistake you did. Yeah, are, are, are Seahawks fans bullish on Drew Locke? Freshman son and junior daughter this year. You know how weird it is to have your daughter and son go to school without you. Right, there you go. Last year was your last year of driving your kids to school. Yeah. There you go. Daughter's licensed driver now. Yeah. Have her, t have her take her little brother to school. You can get some, you get some of your morning back, Josh. Get some of that morning back. Little brother's 5'8 already, freshman 5'8. Daughter's only 5'2. Any uh, any sports for them? Are they playing any sports? There's Joey Bosa, 299. Maybe they get themselves a scholarship, right? Help pay for the college a little bit. mini pop in here. That's DeAndre Hopkins who got popped for PEDs. He'll be out for a little bit. 75. We got uh, Jeremy Rucker. Sometimes the font is kind of hard to read here. 41 out of 50. That's for the Jets. That'll be for Patrick. Patrick. 
Yeah, legends cards are inserts. That's that's a that's a common. That's a con. These are these are the common cards. Legends are inserts. Rookie cards will ship. That's an insert. That'll ship. These won't. These will. Yeah, Malik Willis looked pretty good in the preseason game. TJ Hawkinson to one fifty. We got um, Damian Harris to 199. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the baseball coach. They love. I hope they love the sports cards. It's a fun hobby. All right, and the autograph is for the Niners. It's Tyrion David Price. That is for Patrick and the Niners. And there you go, gang. Break 13 in the books. Let's give away some money. Let's give away those points. So let's flip back to... Let's flip back to the list. Everyone's got a shot at the break or at the... Uh, at the points, so new dice, new list, so everyone's got a shot at that. And if you bought at least two teams, if you follow those instructions in the description, you got a chance at winning some break credit. Chris bought two, that's an entry. David bought two, that's an entry. The X line bought seven, six count for the purpose of the promo. That's still three entries. Nestor, two teams, one entry. Pat, two teams, one entry. Patrick, four teams, two entries. Rick T, two teams in an entry. Sean, two teams, entry. Steven, two teams, entry. And Tanner with four teams, that's two entries. All right, so I got Chris, David, Josh, Nestor, Pat, Patrick, Rick, Sean, Steven, and Tanner. All right, so top two on the randomizer will get um, we'll get break credit. After three and a one, four times. Points first, one, two, three, and a one, fourth and final time. That's Pat Wolf, 250 points, little consolation prize going your way. Three and a one, four times for the break credit. Top two, one, two, three, and a one. Good luck. It's Rick T and Sean Healy. After four times, hundred and uh, what, twenty-five dollars of break credit each? Yeah, hundred twenty-five dollars of break credit each going your way. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Legacy Break. Bye bye.